The Anglo-Zanzibar War of 1896 holds the distinction of being the shortest recorded conflict in history, spanning a mere 38 minutes. This swift yet intriguing episode began with the signing of the Heligoland Zanzibar Treaty in 1890, demarcating British and German spheres of influence in East Africa. Zanzibar fell under British sway, and Hamad bin Thuwaini, a British ally, assumed the role of sultan. Tensions escalated when Hamad's sudden demise in 1896 paved the way for his cousin Khalid bin Bargash to seize power without British consent. British diplomats, irate at this audacious move, demanded Khalid's resignation. Unyielding, Khalid amassed forces around the palace, fortified with cannons, some ironically diplomatic gifts. Meanwhile, British warships and troops positioned themselves, and Admiral Harry Rawson arrived with reinforcements. Basil Cave, the British chief diplomat, treaded cautiously, seeking London's approval to use force. Upon receiving the green light, he issued ultimatums to Khalid. The last ultimatum stipulated Khalid's exit by 9 a.m. the next day. As the deadline loomed, Khalid defiantly replied, doubting British resolve. At 9 a.m., bombardment began. Within minutes, Khalid's artillery was decimated, and the palace's wooden structure crumbled, entombing 3,000 defenders. In just 38 minutes, the conflict concluded. Casualties were high, with over 500 of Khalid's fighters and a British officer harmed. Hamad, a British puppet, ascended the throne, while Khalid fled to the German consulate. Despite British calls for his extradition, Khalid's escape was masterminded by the German Navy. He was captured in 1916 and later returned to East Africa, passing away in 1927. This astonishingly brief war, fueled by political maneuvering, explosive bombardment, and swift surrender, remains an unparalleled footnote in military history.